So you must have seen this circuit. This is just an inverting amplifier. And you may have also seen people put a capacitor um, here. And that capacitor slows the circuit down. So if you have uh, oscillation problems or ringing or something like that in your circuit, sometimes you need to slow it down. And you'll put a little capacitor here, maybe, you know, 47 picofarads or 100 picofarads or something, something here to slow things down to make sure it stays complete. Um, if you just take a look at this circuit, just a resistor and, and, uh, and capacitor, you can say, well, how does that slow things down? If you, if you put a um, capacitor across the circuit, it speeds things up. It allows the high frequency to bypass things and get through quickly. Um, but it's in the feedback path. So this is the, the, the feedback to the input. And so you can think of this circuit as doing the opposite of, of what it normally would do because you're feeding it back to the input. So you're saying that I'm going to take this high frequency that's here, feed it back to the input, and that will cancel out the, the other side. So um, it allows you to do kind of the opposite things. Uh, think about this circuit and why, why that capacitor does what it does. So if things do the opposite when they're in a feedback path that they normally would do in a non-feedback path, we can use that to our advantage. So um, remember our, uh, our 10K, or 10K, our uh, 10K, 10K point, point zero 0.01 microfarad uh, twin T filter. Um, we saw this uh, attenuating um, the response of the circuit at two kilohertz. So it had low gain at two kilohertz and high gain everywhere else. So it was a, a notch filter. But what if we put that in a, a, the feedback path of an op amp? Um, so this is just a, a follower circuit for an op amp, a unity gain. Uh, but we're going to put this circuit in the feedback path. And so uh, that's what I've done here. Uh, if you've watched my last video, this is the exact same circuit that I had before. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the input and output of filter on these two wires and I'm going to run it up here to this op amp circuit that I had left over. And so um, let's see what that does. There we go. So if you remembered what the notch filter looks like, this is just the inversion of that notch filter. So we're getting gain at two kilohertz um, instead of attenuation at two kilohertz. So um, the same circuit can do two different things depending on how you use it. So this would be a good circuit to boost things. So you wanted uh, some, maybe at a low frequency, you wanted to boost some things to make it sound bassier. Um, or your microphone was lacking in some frequency. Um, so very good trick. Uh, put things in the feedback and you can make things operate the opposite way.